Hi guys, today I'm going to make a, a small video to explain what is Dara. A lot of people might find little videos of, on YouTube, but they might not see the full extent of the whole project. And they might think that the project is just that video that they saw. Dara originally meant data analyzing robotic arm. It started when I was 16 years old. Um, I was playing in a park in junior high school, actually middle school. And uh, my partner decided to step out of the swing while I was all the way up. And when she let go, I felt, and I put my arm to brace myself, and I actually broke my arm. So there goes Fernando with the broken arm, grabbed my arm and just went to the principal's office. So they, call, they can call my mom and take me to the hospital. And there I go, all casted. Okay, okay, it's not that bad. It was just my arm. <laughs> um, but as a 16 year old kid, I started thinking, is my arm gonna be okay? Uh, am I going to be able to write down? Um, I love drawing, will I be able to draw again? So I grabbed papers and I started making my second arm just in case because um, hey, a 16 year old can have no, just one arm, especially a left if he's right. So I started drawing, making drawings and coming up with ways of making this thing work. And my ideas just keep pouring. Um, I didn't stop in the hands. I decided, hey, you know what? I can make a torso. Um, I can make a uh, shoulder. I can make some uh, a foot. Um, I even had drawings for a um, an eagle. Uh, there was a com uh, cartoon back in um, on 80, 87, 88. Uh, it's, it was a tallyhawk, and I start imagining how I could build it. Um, that will be my pr uh, next project <laughs> once I finish Dara. Um, I have that project, plus I have a car that only runs on solar power. Um, I have a um, project to make a one too many motors, uh, which means that there's only one motor and it multiplies it into many. And which is I'm gonna I'm gonna try to use it in both the Eagle uh, project and into Dara and almost into everything else that I, I want to build. I, instead of putting many many motors, many servos, many gears, and things like that, you only put one, and it multiplies it. Um, it's a concept. I have um, I'm working on it. I'm still working on it. I think it's gonna work. So back in 2006. Uh, I built a small CNC. Um, I still have it. Uh, it's laying around. Um, it's probably 12, 12 inches height by 24 inches wide. But hey, I was able to actually um, route aluminum with it. And um, I would take those pieces and then put it on a drill press, spin them with a file until I actually made the fingers. and. Actually, they worked. They, wor they did work. Um, and I also uh, worked on my one too many uh, motor. And it's still a process that I'm still building. Um, now with uh, the facility of the 3D printers, I probably might improve a lot of things. So back in 2017, I got my first 3D printer, I asked my wife, hey, uh, for my birthday, why don't you get me a 3D printer? I wanna try it and it's not expensive. So if I don't know what to do with it, 
I can probably donate it to a school or something. And as soon as I got it, um, I didn't know what to do with it, <laughs> but it took me a few tries and a few tries. And, and then I, 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 can, I, I actually started understanding the concept of it. Um, I started making drawings. My drawings were really bad in the beginning, um, but they kept improving. And basically I, I finished a set of fingers that actually did work. Um, actually, uh, num uh, hand number one uh, actually worked with pulleys and it, it did work. Um, it required too much force for the fingers to move. So I kind of abandoned that idea, but I can still work with it, but actually um, I'm moving to the side of it. So why stop in the arm? Um, once I finished the arm, I decided, you know what? I, I, I'm gonna take all my drawings and um, put them to good use. So the new meaning of Dara became Data Analyzing Robotic Android. And once I, I knew I was going to build an Android, uh, I said, eh, what should I call him or her, whatever, uh, actually making a her would uh, actually ring red flags with my wife. So I decided to make it a male, which probably is going to be worse. But anyways, <laughs> um, so once I had the concept, I said, what, what? What is it going to call? And I said, you know what? The, the, the meaning of the robot is a perfect name, Dara. And because of the closeness to data from Star Trek, I said, you know what? It, that, that's what I'm going to build. Um, but instead of calling it data because of infringements with um, whoever owns it right now, because they keep changing, I decided to just keep it named Dara. Um, so far, everything is going well. Um, uh, first, it was my original finger. Um, so I was able to, to make an explanation video on how the finger works. And um, it was a hit and people liked it. So they kept clicking and then kept asking me. Um, then they asked me to make a video for for the hand, and uh, that went well. Like I said, it, it did work. After the hand, I decided to build the skull, and um, the skull uh, already moved the the eyes. It does move the eyebrows, the nose. Um, the, the lips uh, actually work. They require about 10 servos to actually mimic a human movement of the, the lips. Um, that part of the project is still not ready is uh, to show a video yet because I have I will have to cast the um, the silicone and I'm not there yet. I, I want to finish all the parts first before I start. Um, doing that. Um, once I finished the, the head and I decided, let me go ahead and finish the, the, the head and finish the neck, which, which works also. Once I finished the the neck, I decided um, I'm going to make a tongue as things are not creepy enough. And this is when my wife left the room.
once I finished the tongue, uh, I wanted to see if I could make it move. If I made it sing. Uh, lip sync. For me, darling, just dive right in. Follow my lead. Well, I found a girl. That part also worked. And just kiss me slow. Your heart is all I do have to adjust the uh, servos and to actually open the, uh, the, the jaw a little bit more. But that's just little settings that, that I, it worked perfectly. Um, then I went into the um, into the spine. Just got the, the side to side movement. I I need a bigger um, motor here and a bigger motor there um, to make sure that it can carry the whole weight. This right now is 5 volts and a 25 ounce servo. Um, I, I'm sure that is not going to cut it. But just for the principle, just to understand that it worked, it did. Uh, once I had that, I needed to make sure that the that it, it turned from side to side. So I built the next part, which was for the torso. And that actually worked. So move into the chest, build the um, a computer animated program. As you can see here, um, it's moving the shoulder, the forearm, and this was the first test. Um, it, is, it wasn't a lot, but the concept works. Um, and so far, I have also been working on the foot, uh, on the leg. Um, so I think then maybe in about a year, I should have everything ready. I'm very excited. Well, so now I am still dreaming as if I was 16, back on the hospital bed and still making my drawings. Um, my websites are still there. Join YouTube so you can uh, keep track of the progress of the things that I do. Um, many of the files are in Thinkiverse. Uh, as I said, only patrons get the latest parts and some most of the parts that I do I am not giving these things for free because, uh, as a, again, uh, Dara has cost me quite some money. So I need to put the money back. My wife will not allow me to just keep buying stuff. <laughs> just kidding. Well, guys, join my YouTube, join Thinkiverse, and um, just keep, keep dreaming, keep building, keep moving forward. Until next time.